Wow, I wanted to just record this. Hello, YouTube family. Just saying hi for a minute because I went to make a video for uh, that'll have to go on BitChute and put one up just a little bit ago that you might want to check out. It's kind of sounds like good news, but I don't know if it'll ever go through. Anyway, look at me. Our sun right now is right above all the buildings that I see looking into downtown. Well, it's it's really called South Side, but it's towards downtown, and it's it's about to touch. You know, it looks like it's about to touch the buildings before it actually sets. And I turned this on just to see how it would look. <laughs> And look at that. I mean, it's so bright. Let's see if I can show you. See how it looks in here. Uh, let's see. I got to go this way. Oh, it's hard to do it like this, isn't it? You can't even see it. I mean, you should be able to see it in this Oh, I just don't know how to point it, I guess. But that, it's, you can t sort of see it. Well, my finger, I'm trying to point with my finger. <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> I need some kind of a, like the cursor, but I sure can't do that upside down. But, I mean, that sun is just right in my face so I can't do a video like this I'll have to find another seat for, oh wow that's bright but anyway I thought this is a cool look look at my hair I dyed it red no not really <laughs> I mean that is like orange <laughs> from that sun it's so bright and you know for I don't know if it's these glasses because they're, they're real thick in places and they're thinner in places. But it looks to me like the bottom part is magenta. Wow, I might not should look at it much more. But it, it's different colors. Orange. I even see green now around it. Oh, it's weird. I better not look at it anymore because it's very bright. But anyway, um, just check out. My new, it's my new name is Truther, all caps, Truther 2, formerly Jeannie Loves Jesus. But I, but you all know I love him with all my heart, and we're going to be with him real soon. If you're one of us in the first fruits, now let me go ahead and say, if you're not, Whatever you do, do not take any kind of thing that you might even suspect might be the mark of the beast. Whatever it is, you get my point. I, because some people don't believe, you know, what's being said now. So anyway, what I want you to do is just encourage you that it won't be very long. And we're coming back to help anybody left behind. If it's in the days of darkness, will you cry out to Jesus? You just get on your knees and pray or on your face. And you just cry out to Jesus for help. Repent of any sins you've been doing. Even things that you've been thinking, well, I just really don't think that's a sin. Repent of it and talk to him about it. Say, Lord, I wasn't sure if this was a sin or not. And I just saw I didn't repent of it. But maybe that was a sin and I should have known or whatever. I see, look, it's getting normal looking again. Yeah, and oh my gosh, it's over halfway down behind a building. That's why it's starting to look normal. I need to put lights on now. So anyway, um, I hope you have things put up. Food, bottled water. You still have time. 
to take whatever you have out of the bank. It's going to crash. I mean, if you are fortunate enough that you have stock in a Fortune 500 country, company and you don't get it out, however that's done, cool. It just, the sun is down, but the, the lights lit back up. Anyway, I'm not a finance person. I can't advise you. All I know is, let's see, the first seal uh, we believe is happening right now. The white horse represents white coats. Think of that. Could be the Antichrist comes on the scene. That's what I always thought before I heard the other. Second is war. Well, someone got a dream or vision, or maybe it was a word from the Lord. One of the members on the team, crafted in Team Jesus, that it was going to start in Belarus. Well, look what just happened in Belarus. Now, I don't know if that's going to be any big deal. Someone tried to hijack a plane. They forced it down in Belarus, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, I don't know all the facts, but you can look that up. So World War III is supposed to happen, or a war, war. It's just a war. The horse represents war. And then there's famine because there's not enough food to go around. And all the stuff that I reported before, food crops being put underground and animals being put to death because they couldn't let the men work side by side or women, whoever I uh, just can't imagine a woman working in a butcher shop but I don't mean where they sell the meat I mean where they turn the cow into what they sell <laughs> yuck <laughs> I would not enjoy that job <laughs> but anyway uh Whatever you have to do, you do, you know, to feed your family. Anyway, and different reasons can cause famine. The weather. Look how the weather really ruined the crops in the Midwest. I think it's what they call the Midwest or the, uh, anyway, in the central United States. I can't remember exactly what states. But so there's famine and the economy tanks and then the fifth seal let's see wait fourth seal is just death well between war and famine pestilence there's death well geez we kind of got <laughs> kind of kind of got pestilence going on if you give a drift but it could be, you know, it happens naturally every 17 years. is a plague of locusts. Just somehow, I don't know if it takes that long to, to grow um, that many locusts. I don't, know. I don't know. I've never really studied into that. So maybe one of y'all know. Why is it every 17 years? Here in the United States, we get the plague of locusts. That's weird. That's just weird to me. Why is it every 17 years? Is that a number that represents something about locusts? <laughs> anyway, I don't know. So anyway, then you have the fourth seal is death. People will die. But if you're living right, if you are living right, you learn to love Jesus. You 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 say, well, how do I learn to love it? You know, it's like taking me out on a date with a woman and saying, now learn to love her because that's your wife. And that, you're going to marry her, so you learn to love her. You know, there was such a thing, and still probably is in the Middle East, as... Um, um, Prearranged marriages. The Jewish people did it. Uh, a lot of a lot of different cultures did it. 
the dad would go or have someone go find a wife for his son or or a husband for her daughter, which however your culture did it. And he was brought to her, and they were told, get used to each other, you're going to get married. I can't imagine that. I, I can't. But if you get to learn who Jesus is, if you don't already know, I mean, I can't imagine why you'd be watching my channel if you weren't already born again, serving the Lord, loving him the thing that a lot of Christians have a hang up with or a lot I, I, how should I put this why they won't make the first fruits is because they don't love him most they love him they absolutely do they read their word they'll do kind deeds for, for those in need they'll uh try to obey what the Lord said to do and what have you and even repent for their sins they're almost there almost but they love their lives their wives their children their career they worked so hard to get they want to live out their life and then be with Jesus. That's what a lot of people, they don't understand that our life in heaven will be so much greater. Oh, look at my, now what's in my eyes? What is that? Green squares. What is reflecting in my eyes? That is so weird. I have no idea what's causing that green squares. It should be me. <laughs> anyway, um, I didn't mean to get off on preaching about anything, but just know this. If you get left behind, it's not all over. Okay, it's not the end. We're coming back. Just spread the word, put people back together, bring people back to life. Whoever Jesus tells us to go help is who will help. And that will be those like you who love him, you're serving him, you're trying. But you've got to hang up. There's some sin. Maybe you need deliverance to stop that sin. And you haven't taken advantage of of ways I've told you or other people have told you or you haven't looked into it for yourself. Maybe you just don't really want to give up that sin yet. But you believe that it's going to be alright. Or you just for some reason just don't put God first. I pray that I do. I do pray that I do. I don't know how to love him more. Well, since this is a really weird looking scene here, I'm going to end it. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this video, over each and every one of us, and our devices and our internet connection. And I'm going to pray that each and every one of us are found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And I wish I knew what was making those triangle squares in my glasses because there's nothing green like that around here. Isn't that weird? Well... That's all for, for tonight. I will talk to you again later. Bye for now.